I just added three Air Force One grills to my collection. And at first I wasn't gonna show you guys, but I was like, you know what? There's too much nostalgia behind these. So I gotta give you guys an unboxing. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially unboxing dope sneakers that I'm adding to my collection, which is pretty often. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with sneaker number one. And these came out in 2004. As you guys can see from the box, this is one of the older boxes. I'm so happy about finally adding these to my collection because I vividly remember when these hit the streets back in the day and I wasn't even a size 13 during that time. So now that I'm able to get these and add these to my collection in my size oh man i'm looking forward to rocking these let's go ahead and crack this box open right here we have the lebron svsm nike air force one so now i understand when it comes to the younger generation they're probably not going to know or feel or remember those times when lebron was coming up in the early 2000s balling out in high school playing for svsm which are these are the school colors and then going to the league in 2003 and going crazy and balling out every year since and with me being a lebron james fan with adding sneakers to the collection over the years i'm definitely happy about adding these in particular because not only is this colorway dope but there are some small subtle details in the materials on these things are a1 so as you guys know in some of my other videos i like to give you guys the in-depth looks and all the full breakdowns and everything but in today's video i'm going to kind of just give you guys some quick rundowns on the sneakers that i picked up and show you guys some in-hand shots and then talk about a couple of the details of the shoes that way you guys have a better understanding of them if you've never seen them before so for these in particular you have the lebron james logo laser ingrained on the back end right here around the heel also on the tongue right here and then on the inside of the insole now the insole is going to be leather the sock liner is leather and the entire upper is leather it's all very very premium and i'm telling you again bro these things are so nice like when it comes to materials on shoes nowadays and you probably hear this all the time but a lot of the older stuff was just simply better when it comes to the quality the cuts the materials and everything along those lines so to be able to find a pair in this nice of a condition and honestly all three of these shoes right here i immediately had to cop and speaking of that i I actually ended up picking up all these shoes from untied when i was out in la a couple weeks ago so if you guys haven't heard of them i'll have the links for you down below in the description and everything and if you ever want to check out anything from their website make sure you use the discount code dna show that'll get you guys free shipping as well but yes i picked up all these from the same place that way you guys have an understanding of that but with all that being said the lebron svsm air force one <laughs> These things are grails and I am so happy. You guys probably heard me say that three or four times now, but bro, I don't know. Like it, these things go crazy. Now, next up right here, we have a 2005 release again with that tan and orange box right here. And these ones played a huge factor on the shoe game and kind of playing homage back to 1984 from way back in the day and how the Air Force One would just stayed alive over the years. And that is the Be More air force one now some people might wonder why is this shoe so important well baltimore and the east coast that kind of area over there if you guys don't know much about the air force ones way back in the day they were virtually selling sneakers out of the trunk and dropping exclusive colorways out there and they were able to create a crazy demand behind the air force one and keep that model alive when it first came out and because of that they're one of the main routes to why the air force one is so dope today so back in 2005 nike decided to pay some homage to baltimore as well and they decided to put a be more hit right here and then you have the be more hit here on the tongue and then you have the be more on the insole gray with the white be more hit there and a little bit of gray on the top upper smooth very very nice premium leather you got your side mesh right here with that gray vibe and then the gray outsoles right here these have been worn, but I'm completely fine with it because again, I got them for a really good deal and they just pay so much homage to the shoe game. It only made sense just out of just straight up respect for Air Force Ones, Baltimore and what they have done and all the other things. So for me, I was happy to pick these up and I think honestly, another great addition to the collection. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Now let's take it to the third and final pickup, which is, uh, I don't know if it's the LeBrons or this one next, but this might be my favorite Air Force One that I got in my entire collection. These came out in 2006 and I posted these on my Instagram and my TikTok and I think on the YouTube Shorts channel. If you guys uh, haven't followed me already, make sure you follow me on TikTok, DJ underscore sneakerhead, DJ underscore sneakerhead on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me over there and please subscribe to my DNA Shorts channel. It's a separate channel from here. I'll make sure I have it linked for you guys down below. That way you guys can uh, see all the short form content and all the stuff that I got going on on there as well because I don't want to flood the main feed but either way subscribe to that i'm trying to get that one up to 10,000 subscribers so that's the next goal by the end of the year but like i said i posted them on there 
and people were like, yo, are those customs? And, and I understood it because it was a younger generation that was literally like, okay, if you were born in the early 2000s and these came out in 2006, you might've been like four or five years old, six years old, three years old. I get that, that makes sense. You might've not even been born yet. I completely understand that too. So people were thinking these were customs or like it was a shoe that was about to be coming out or something like that. And I'm like, no bro, these came out in 2006 and they've been doing this stuff for a while. But I know we know the new hype. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling off and I know you guys wanna know what it is by now. So let's go ahead and crack this box open. Now I'm not that big a fan of orange sneakers, but there is an exception when it comes to the Halloween Air Force One. These got that Scarface vibe to them with the black on one side and the orange on the other. They're all patent leather upper with the white stitch. You got the white swoosh right here on both sides. You got the character on the side with the mask and the skeleton hand. And then you also got that same hit right here on the tongue. You got the skeleton hand on the insole. Even the insole is split with the black and the orange. And then it's gonna be the same thing over here on this shoe. And these things go crazy. So usually on the other two shoes, I could show you guys, you know, just one foot because they look identical. In a sense, this is what it looks like when the two shoes are together. Spread them apart, it looks like black on the outside, orange on the inside. These right here, oh my gosh. The Scarface Air Force Ones, grails. The black with the white with the red, grails. I don't care what anybody says. If you don't know about them, look them up. I probably popped up some pictures right here in the video for you guys to see. Those were grails. Those came out like months before these came out. And I remember when these came out, but again, I wasn't the same. Back then, I was like a size 10 or something like that, 10 and a half. Now I'm a size 13. So you know what I'm saying? Like my foot was growing. I just didn't end up getting them. But now that I finally got them, literally it took me how many years? 15, 16 years, whatever that is. Do the math. I don't remember. 2006. We can count that up later. But either way, it's been a long time. And this right here is a sneaker that when I saw these at the shop, I was like, oh, bro. I have to have these. I need these in my collection. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Size 13, super clean. These things go crazy. I don't know what you, I'm sure you guys are like having your nostalgic memories in your heads right now. Please express your memories of these down below in the comment section. All my OG heads, you guys are gonna remember these times. And talk about the other Air Force Ones as well. I definitely wanna start talking about a little bit more of the older sneakers because for me, this was the stuff that I grew up on, the stuff that I was collecting, the stuff that I wanted to collect, all that type of stuff. So these hit home, these are crazy. Um, I don't know, I feel like these could potentially be one of the best Halloween Air Force Ones to ever drop. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I know we got the ones that, with the glow in the dark, with the skeleton foot, and then, you know, we've been seeing the different colors and iterations of those. There was a 2005 version that was uh, kind of similar colors, but a little bit different color blocking on the shoes. And then 2006, they came with this version, which was similar to the Scarface one, and everybody was going crazy over these. I remember seeing people rocking these at school, like, bro, I need those forces. Like, where did you get those from? This is just, Ah, crazy nostalgic times and honestly all three of these sneakers very nostalgic i remember seeing people rocking these back in the day and be like bro i gotta get these and i was more heavy on like jordans um still i had like i had a lot of the easier to access air force ones these were having you know the limited drops and the different stuff like that more of the boutique shops and stuff so i had a lot of air force ones at the time but a lot of the easier ones remember the ones remember back in the day when they had the air force ones and it was just like well you had like the sheets and all that stuff coming out too but remember they had the ones that was just like white in the front and then it was like navy blue patent leather in the back or like a different color patent leather and it was like essentially like a bunch of different colors and like a lot of that more accessible ones from 2004 to 2007 2000 2008, there was like a lot of good Air Force Ones coming out. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like that era in particular was a lot of bangers. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And even before that, early 2000s, you had Shady, Eminem, you had Terror Squad, but those were more like PE type things. I'm talking about like GR or like limited releases type stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys my three sneakers. I hope you guys appreciated this. I was excited to add these to my collection and I wanted to show you because I realized like not everybody knew about all three of these sneakers. And again, I can give you guys more in-depth reviews if you wanna see one in particular for one of these, you know, specific shoes that I showed you guys. But hopefully that kind of gives you guys a gist of the sneakers, and, you know, when they came out, the era, the nostalgia, you know, what they meant to the community, different stuff like that. And again, I would love to hear what you guys have 
to say down below in the comment section. I know we got a lot of young sneakerheads, a lot of new sneakerheads, but I know we got an audience of, you know, older OG heads that was collecting with me back in the day that can remember those times and, and you know, remember those drops and all that type of stuff. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Uh, these are three great grills. I appreciate you guys as always. All right, y'all, I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.